Welcome to Present Truth Broadcast with Pastor Maxwell Ogaga, brought to you by Present Truth Ministry, a teaching ministry where believers are trained to be established in the truth of God's Word. Ready? Yeah. Hello, welcome to today's broadcast. I'm excited that you're tuned in today. My name is Maxwell Ogaga. I'm excited that you're tuned in today. I'm teaching from my brand new book. It's called Love Lost in Lies, Fundamental Laws of Relationship. I wrote this book to help uh, people get it right when it comes to the subject of relationship. I think fundamentally, uh, the, the, the things you observe or what you look into before you get married is very, very important and it contributes to a large extent um, your choices of getting it right. So a couple of chapters in this book, but I'm going to try to summarize some few points and I'm hoping that at the end of this series, you'll be able to get um, to get the book and read and study, share with your friends. Uh, let's look at singlehood. And I said, singlehood, a balanced perspective. So I'm teaching from chapter one. I said, singlehood, a balanced perspective. Singlehood is more than a waiting room to meet Mr. or Mrs. Wright. Life is in seasons and phases. That means at a particular season, there is something you should be found doing or actively learning. Understanding this will put less pressure on you waiting to get to the next season of your life. So what does that mean? It means that right now that you are not married, you're not in a relationship, for instance, there are things you need to do and to know about yourself that will enhance you and add more value to you as you get into relationship. And we're talking about believing relationship now, which eventually leads to marriage. Now, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity on the the heavens. So it is important to understand the singlehood season and know that, hey, this is the season that I am right now and I'm going to maximize it. I'm going to live it. I want to say this to you. Marriage is not what completes you. Is marriage important? Yes, it is. Um, but the scripture clearly tells us that there are some that will not be married. So you don't make it look like, oh, you know, uh, once I get married, then I'm complete. You know, no, no, no. The scripture clearly tells us that the believer in Christ is complete. You are complete in Christ. And if you don't have this sense of identity, getting into a relationship, you'll be looking for who to complete you. Now, Ephesians 2.10 says, So you also are complete through your union with Christ, through your union with Christ, the New Living Translation, through your union with Christ, you are complete. So, if you're born again, you are complete in Christ. You're not looking for who to complete you. You are already complete in Christ. What should you do during your single period also? It's the time to be driven by value and purpose. That's when you find out God's purpose for your life and that's when you go about accomplishing it. That's when you go about building the capacity needed to be of value to the world. So your single period is, a, is not just the waiting room. You're not just waiting to get married. You're actively pursuing your purpose. You're actively developing and cultivating your relationship with God. You're actively finding out God's purpose for bringing you here on earth. And most importantly, Importantly, you're spending that time developing and cultivating your relationship with God because in union with Christ, you are complete in Him. I'd like to read um, a scripture quickly. Proverbs 4.25, it says, Let your eyes look forward, fix your gaze straight ahead, carefully consider the path for your faith, and all your ways will be established. Praise the name of the Lord. So, your single period is a time of focus, is a time of pursuing purpose. We're going to continue this uh, next broadcast. There's information on the screen on how you can get a copy of the book. And in the next broadcast, we're going to look at ways to maximize your single period. May God bless you. May he keep you and may he cause his face to shine upon you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Present Truth Broadcast with Pastor Maxwell Ogaga. For more information and free downloads, please visit www.pastormax.ng. We would also like to hear from you. Call 0805-888-7575.
God bless you.